Expect higher heating bills this winter. Which company is doubling down on solar production? And a continent that you wouldn't immediately think of that's quickly becoming the hot place for smart grid development. This is your Daily Energy Report. Today is Friday, October the 15th. Hello and welcome, and I'm Ben Lack, and this is your Daily Energy Report. We've got a lot of great stuff to talk about today, so let's get started. Even with a winter that's forecasted to be less harsh than last year, many households should expect to see higher heating bills in the coming months. New data released by the Energy Information Administration shows that higher energy prices are a key reason to the increase in the bills. Homes using natural gas as their primary heat source should expect to see a 2% decrease in consumption, but a 6% increase in price. When comparing to last year, this projection equates to an additional $27 in heating costs. There's a good chance that this could affect you because approximately 52% of all American homes rely on natural gas for heating. First Solar Inc. has announced plans to nearly double their photovoltaic production capacity from 1.4 gigawatts to 2.7 gigawatts by 2012. The company, which manufactures advanced thin film photovoltaic modules, will build new manufacturing plants in the U.S. and Vietnam to handle the added capacity. Each new plan is also expected to create an additional 600 jobs, but the specific sites have yet to be determined. And finally, GE has added another company to its smart grid software portfolio. GE's digital energy business has acquired smart grid network software and services provider Opal Software. With Opal Software being based in Australia, the acquisition allows for DE's general energy business to further expand the reach in the Asia-Pacific area. Australia is the new hotbed for smart grid development growth as the Australian government is currently putting in place a national broadband plan that includes specific implementation requirements for countrywide smart grid network investments. Terms of the deal were not disclosed. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in next week to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great weekend.